Couture was the fact that it does now have a futures market attached to it. Right. What is that futures market telling us about the direction of travel? Well, the futures market is has grown a lot. It's grown about 400% in the last year or so, but really it's grown from... Well, nothing, obviously, yep. and it, it's still a pretty small. It's quite a nascent market, and um, you know, really, we're kind of at the stage where it really will take uh, probably the only thing that will move the needle in a significant way in terms of upward momentum will be the institutions coming into the market, like large institutional investors coming into the crypto space. And the only way that that can happen is going back to the point of regulation. If we have a positive regulatory environment for crypto assets, and currently we don't have that, so most people, both the believers and the skeptics, say that uh, there's more pain to come. Uh, we basically we, we'll be having this conversation again with Bitcoin at 2,500, perhaps, or some lower level. That's not a prediction. They're just saying that's to, yeah. that's the direction of travel. Most people would say. So the I'm numbers prepared to buy Bitcoin if it drops to 2,500. And uh, what we need to see for it to recover is what they basically said, clear regulation and institutions to finally come in the market. And it's very comical, but, you know, anyone who is in a hedge fund or is managing money, I mean, they have to be salivating, especially if they're not the ones that got into the asset. Um, the fact that it's been crushed like this, and if you want to go look at other historical charts, usually this is common. Bitcoin does correct 75, 80%, which it has done. So someone that's sitting on the side with a lot of capital, they're probably very, very happy, and they're going to take advantage of this. And eventually the news will break that large um, brokerages like Fidelity will offer uh, crypto and uh, there will be a recovery. But like I said, there's more pain to come and where the bottom is, no one can know because Bitcoin is such a speculative asset. But the only advice I'm giving to myself, this doesn't, doesn't mean you should follow it, is I just continue to buy the dip. And it was painful, but I went ahead and I did sell at you know four or $5,000 level just to protect myself to be able to buy because I didn't want to keep throwing in money. <laughs> I had been buying this dip continuously. So I did sell at four or 5,000 level to buy and orders hit under uh, 4,000. You know, I bought, uh, made an, one of my transactions was at 3,500, which was pretty much the bottom. And I still have orders that go down all the way to what he uh, predicted or what he's been predicting, which uh, I have orders to buy Bitcoin at 2,500 and at 2,000. And it's unfortunate because, like I said, I had put in so much capital around the six to eight thousand level, thinking that you know this is kind of the floor. And uh, I do still have a good amount of cash, so I obviously couldn't continue to buy. But it's just really hard with this uh, kind of correction to continue to just throw money in there. But I'll keep doing it, and uh, after I'm done making this video, I'll probably make another uh, transaction or another transfer from my bank account into my crypto trading account to pick up more. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this, and I will talk to you soon.